up knowing there's a reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living with you I've made my decision The countdown is over. Hi guys! Welcome to Family Church. It's Kivali here. And today we have something really exciting that we're going to be talking about. Well, um, my friend is supposed to be here by now. But according to my watch, it's going to take some time before she gets here. So how about guys, we stand up and do some dancing. Go <laughs> my
hope you enjoyed the worship I did. And guess who's here? My Hi, Kimberly. Hi, my boy. Welcome. Hi, guys. We just done our worship. Just sit here next to me. Ooh. Whoa, one boy, what is this you have this here? This is sugarcane juice. Guys, sugarcane juice? What is sugarcane? Is that a fruit or a what? It's a plant. We've been talking about fruits and last week we talked about the fruits of the spirit, not bananas or oranges like Chikwaza was saying, <laughs> but about the fruit of the spirit of love and joy. And today we shall talk about the fruit of patience. Wow, that reminds me. Do you know how long it took for me to wait for this sugarcane juice? Did you just like um, squeeze it, squeeze it? Like No, it took so long. We had to go to the shamba, uh -huh. cut down the sugarcane, take the sugarcane, chop it up, put it inside a machine, run it through the machine, wait for all of the juice to come out, put it inside this cup, and then I finally got my sugarcane juice. I, I would have just collapsed because of how thirsty I was. It took so long, but it was worth it. I had patience and now I have my sugarcane juice. Waiting can be so hard. Guys, have you ever waited for something for such a long time? Waiting can be so hard, guys. I know, right? It reminds me of COVID. Like from the time COVID came and we had to wait and we couldn't leave our houses. Man, that was difficult so hard you couldn't even go out and play with your friends or go to school <gasps> couldn't even go out to other people's places you know but you know what thank god it's not better yeah it's getting better slowly you know what Bamboy? that reminds me of a story there's a story in the bible where they couldn't even go out of their really yeah it was like a house like an ark an ark a what's big, that a big boat watch this story Stories of the Bible, Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Whoa! Water covered the whole earth and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl. So Noah knew that the flood waters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months and at last the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. 
Okay. So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. Did you see that story? It was amazing. The story of Noah and the ark. Wow. And guys, the ark was so huge. I've never seen so anything huge. that big. I know, right? right. But imagine being stuck in such a big thing. With all the animals. And all the scary. water. Wow. Where were the animals pooping? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that must have been hard for Noah. But they still trusted and waited on God, right? They really did. Waiting can be hard. Mm -hmm. Guys, how about you talk about this at home? This is memory verse we learned last week about the fruit of the spirit. Really? What verse? Yeah, it's from Galatians. Guys, do you remember? Galatians chapter 5, 22 and 23. Let's watch it. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. The fruit of the spirit is faithfulness. Gentleness and self-control, oh, oh, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. The fruit of the spirit is faithfulness, gentleness and self-control, gentleness and self-control. What a lovely memory verse. I think we need to ask God to help us be more patient. We really should. Guys, let's pray together. Dear God, dear God, please help us. Please help us to trust you. To trust you as we wait. As we wait. In Jesus' name, Amen. Craft time. So for our craft today, one boy, we're going to write patience, a big word that just means we need to learn how to wait. Patience means you're waiting, right? All right. And then we're going to fill it with different colors from the rainbow. Ooh. Why? Because at the end of waiting and trusting in God, God gave Noah a sign to remind him to always trust in him and it was a rainbow, right? Wow. So we're gonna write patience just like this and then we're gonna fill it with all the colors that we can find that make the rainbow. So that's exactly what we're gonna be making. So yeah. we can use papers, like I have these papers right here. Find any papers you have, colorful papers or pencils, colorful pencils or tape anything that is exciting and colorful and just add it to your paper so what are, what are you gonna do so because we've already written your your patience you can just start with that and i'm gonna write another one right here so patience
We hope you guys got yours done. These are ours. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. We hope you had an amazing time making your rainbow patience. Please remember to have patience during the week and always, you know, be patient. All right. Bye, Bye. guys. See you next time.